In Zambia, majority of pit latrines are emptied using manual techniques. Pit emptying is the first and most important step in the management of fecal sludge. There are three manual emptying techniques, namely manual emptying, semi-mechanized and mechanized. This how-to video presents manual emptying techniques using modified garden tools. Manual emptying of pit latrines using modified garden tools needs to be done in a systematic manner in order to be effective and guarantee the safety of the environment and public. Steps to consider when emptying a pit latrine using modified garden tools. Step one, arrival at the site. Pit emptiers are required to be dressed in appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE. These include helmet, gloves, overalls, safety boots, masks, and goggles. Appropriate tools or equipment needs to be available in order to carry out tasks safely and efficiently. These tools or equipment include barrels or collection containers, scoop or shovels, forks, pickaxe, disinfectant, water, trowel, cement, and transport. Step 2. Inspection of the work area. It is important to identify health and safety concerns by carrying out an inspection of the facility to be emptied. This includes assessing the stability of the structure, both the super and the substructure, and finding out whether or not it has been emptied before. Step 3. Digging a hole on the side of the pit. A hole is dug on the side of the pit latrine. The side of the pit where this hole is dug is determined based on a safety inspection and assessment of the facility. Fecal sludge spilling out of the pit is temporarily held in the dug hole. Step 4. Puncturing of a hole on the substructure. A hole is punctured on the side of the substructure. Fecal sludge is scooped from the pit latrine through this hole. It is therefore important because it is the point of entry or access point. Step 5. Use of disinfectant. Disinfectant must be prepared and then used to disinfect the pit itself and the surrounding areas. Disinfectant helps control flies and suppress the smell of fecal sludge. Step 6. Scooping. Scooping is the actual removal of fecal sludge from the pit. It is done with the scoop. In the event where solid waste is present, a modified garden fork is used to declog the pathway. Step 7. Seal the hole made on the substructure. It is important to seal the hole used as access point to avoid the spread of contaminants. This is done with a brick and cement. Step 8. Clean the containers or barrels. Barrels need to be cleaned and disinfected once filled before they are loaded onto transport to prevent the spread of contaminants. Tools and personal protective equipment that may have come into contact with fecal sludge are also cleaned with disinfectant. Step 9. Loading or lifting onto waiting vehicle. The cleaning barrels are then loaded onto the transport vehicle. They must be securely and systematically arranged to minimize movement during ferrying. Step 10. Transportation to treatment site. Once all the filled barrels or containers and tools are loaded onto the designated transport vehicle, the fecal sludge is transported to the treatment site for processing.